Dinesh, we love hearing from you. You always have such great insight into things. Thank you for being with us today. It's always a pleasure. So identity politics has absolutely reached the point of becoming radical dogma. Today, Democrats have to be completely woke, if you'll indulge that, about race, gender, and sex. How do you see all of this impacting the 2020 campaign as we approach the election? Well, I think even it's, it's customary in a primary for uh, Democratic candidates to pivot left because that's the activist base of their party. But uh, normally there's a certain kind of parameter of craziness that keeps things in control because remember, all these statements can be brought back in right. the general election. Uh, it seems the Democrats have forgotten that second part and they're literally going nuts before our eyes competing, if you will, as to who can be nuttier uh, and who can appeal to the craziest wing of the party. So I think for President Trump, this is a time to break out the popcorn uh, <laughs> and enjoy himself because uh, they tried to portray him as an extremist and this is all making him look uh, remarkably statesmanlike. Yeah, no, you're totally right. I, I felt like it was going to end up that way. And let me tell you, they have not disappointed. In fact, in their first debates, the Democrats completely abandoned working class Americans as well as the rule of law. Let's take a look at this. A lot of you have been talking tonight about these government health care plans that you've proposed in one form or another. This is a show of hands question, and, and hold them up for a moment so people can see. Raise your hand if, gover if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. Okay. okay. Let me start with you, Mayor Buttigieg. Why? Uh, Dinesh, every single person on stage raised their hand to provide health care to illegal immigrants over Americans. Um, what did you think of that? Well, I mean, let's just start with the phrase undocumented immigrants, as, as if the only failure here is that they didn't fill out the right form. Uh, the second thing is, remember, illegals are not immigrants. The whole right. point of an immigrant is someone who becomes part of the social compact that wants to be part of our society, that's granted full membership by the people who are existing here. So the whole thing is a farce. The question is a farce. The answer reveals a certain moral obtuseness. Uh, because remember, a social compact is people who come together and pool risk. These are not people who have paid taxes into the system. The idea that they should be eligible for benefits, it's absolutely outrageous. Even legal immigrants like me, very offended by this idea. Yeah, and actually, I think when it comes to the people that are most offended, it's legal immigrants, people who have come into this country, who have gone through the full process, who, who see, you know, you've got to be part of society, as you're saying. And here we're just letting these people in undocumented, unregulated. And now we're going to all in this country, taxpayers pay for them to get health insurance. It seems so crazy, I think, to so many people. Um, and, and we've seen so much change, I feel like, in the Democrat Party. And it has become especially dangerous at, at certain points to be a conservative and to stand up and voice your opinion. 